them up, we load them up, we fly from here to there. And all our guests in this great land, they know that owners care. Friendly, fun, and just a little bit cheeky. Totally on brand, this could be WestJet's theme song. Canada's other big airline launched in Calgary in 1996 with just three jets, complete with wisecracking flight attendants. Billed as an employee-owned underdog, more casual and affordable than the competition. I was an original employee with WestJet when they first started operations. So um, I worked for them for a number of years and my husband and I always fly WestJet. We love WestJet. Well, since then, WestJet has taken off. Last year, 25 million guests flew with the airline, making it the ninth largest in North America. That growth made the company an attractive, if unexpected, target for a takeover. There was zero indication this was coming. The $5 billion offer from Onyx is about two-thirds more than WestJet's shares were worth when the market closed Friday, a bid that reflects the airline's potential for growth, both overseas and into business class. Right now, WestJet is introducing brand new aircraft, flying brand new international routes, move, moving to a full class, business class product on board what was always a low cost carrier. But analysts say that from price point to rewards points, passengers won't likely notice much of a change. Onyx says the airline's headquarters will stay put and no layoffs are planned. No small thing for WestJet's 14,000 employees and the city many of them call home. They are entirely focused on growth and that's good news for WestJet and it's good news for Calgary. But we'll be watching very carefully and making sure that those promises are kept. The one thing is certain, if shareholders and federal regulators approve this deal, WestJet will no longer be publicly traded or be able to claim being even partially employee owned. So whatever the company's future, well, it'll be singing a different tune. Owners care from here to there, from coast to coast we are the most. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Calgary.